everyone today is another app tutorial day <laughs> so for people who are not familiar there's a link in the description box for the astrology app that i'm using so make sure you click it and also if you've missed out there's a previous video to this where how to download it now that you have it let's uh, today we're gonna be learning something new Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. This is just a brief announcement. Um, first things first, there is two readings, extended one and extended two. If you do not resonate with the first one, the next reading might be the reading for you. But sometimes it's also important to watch a reading that does not resonate because it's just about to happen. It will make sense once you are experiencing some parts of it. It makes sense. And then um, we're, um, make sure you hit the bell and also um, um, the notification one because when we upload, there's going to be future uploads about astrology based on ascendant and moon. So you, are, you guys are always in tune. So hit the bell first. And in the description box, you will see all the webinars that are available for you guys to stream. So it's a perfect time to binge watch on different um, planets that we have discussed already. And stay tuned for future webinars. If you haven't watched the, um, the, uh, the prediction for finances, love and health and economy, um, we have uploaded it recently. We'll put it here on the upper left corner. I do highly suggest that um, to, to watch it so that you guys know what are the dates. There are specific dates that I have given there for planetary, because um, there's gonna be four planets that's gonna be retrograding. So make sure you tune into that one. That was for the Aries season. Um, what else? Um, I feel like, um, I said that's it. I think, yeah, that's it. Oh, for the deck that I'm using, this is gonna be in the description box. I believe this is Rumi and this is Anime um, Tarot. If you guys are enthusiasts, we also put the link down there in the description box. If you guys wanna learn how to cleanse and, uh, you know, and uh, follow different things that I do as far as like coaching and spirituality and things that helps me, make sure you follow the other channel, which is Sal Biadora. We also upload there different things. Okay, so I think that's it. Anything else? I think that's it. All right. So let's start now with your reading for each of the Zodiacs. All right, Leo. So let's start your reading. Let's see. I'm at the end, the Oracle card. I will put the uh, the card in, on, in front of the lens and the camera so you guys um, can uh, look deep within what is the message from your higher self okay so we'll do an exercise so let's see you the block the challenge your expectation and then on their end and then an outside factor that is affecting this connection so let's see from my leo's Let's see if I'm going to Okay. Here we go. Leos. You got the Knight of Coins and the Eight of Swords. It doesn't make sense to you why they didn't see the future with you. Okay. That's harsh. Because Knight of Coins... You're looking at them because eight of swords for me is like that's my card of um, surprise or no expectation. They eight of swords is like they don't see themselves, mm -hmm. and you're looking at them. That's why. Mm -hmm. And it's like why they why they didn't pick you, why they didn't consider you, why they didn't move, make a move because eight of swords is a lot of question. And the knight of coins is you also stop asking this question. But when you stop asking questions, you start wondering even more. So you're also feeling like there has to be more to this. So you want to know now why they didn't. It's not about commitment. Like, they just didn't see themselves with you. Why? Like, did I do something wrong? Is there something here that you didn't see? That you should know about? Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's see, let's see the challenge here, I mean that's already a challenge right there, oh. <laughs> let's see, the full card and the ten of, mm, okay, 
So for you, it's like you give them a chance. You did try. And you're saying, it's like, well, I did, but I'm not sure why it didn't still happen. The full card is you took a leap of faith with them so that you guys can be in a Ten of Pentacles, a secure relationship. But it's underneath the Eight of Swords, so they didn't see this as an opportunity. You were putting your bet in this relationship, in this connection, that they will be with you. Mm -hmm. Like, all my, all you know, all your coins are with this person. It's only them that you want, no one else. Challenge also is like you were the fool, so you were goo goo gaga over them. Uh, no matter what the red flag is, no matter what you know, other things that is being shown to you, you would give them the benefit of the doubt because you see such a great opportunity. Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Now let's see the expectations that you have. Mm -hmm. hmm. Four of Wands. Oh, and the Death card. Oh. So, here. Give me Scorpio, you got Pisces, you got Taurus. You're expecting them, you know, what your expectation is like, they will say yes. But what they did was no. <laughs> so it's like a miscalculation. You almost got it. Like, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. And then you guys broke up. Mm hmm. So this is what you didn't see. Like, they're just going to say no. Okay. It just ended. Like a relationship that was flourishing, that has everything, just ended. No reason. Scorpio had a reading the other day where it's like um, useless breakup, something like that. Watch that. Pointless breakup. Now let's see their side. <clears throat> now their side, you got the Nine of Pentacles and the Lovers. Okay. So they were confident that you guys have something good also. You guys have a wonderful... Gemini, you have a wonderful connection. Um, Nine of Pentacles, they were confident. They look at this like, yes, yes, yes. Something here does not add up, basically. Because they were a yes. No time. That's where you, uh, you put your bet, Ten of Pentacles. They said, yes, we're going to be together. We'll have a future. We love each other. Let's plan all these things. So there was all this thing going on between the two of you. Okay. This is like a juicy gossip. Uh, we call it hot goss. Hot gossip. I like this. Uh, it's a very flavorful. Oh, <laughs> let's see. Now their challenge here. Justice. Ooh, and the King of Swords, of course. Enter Aqua and Libra. They tried to weigh this. What do they really get from this? And what they have to put in the table? They saw something that is not going to be for their benefit. Because he's a merchant. Justice is merchant. You know, the symbol of that. So they try, They cut you off here. While you're giving them a chance, they didn't took a chance. They became detached and cold. They see that they can... That this is not something that can benefit them later on. Okay. Because King of Swords for me is um, future looking. They look at like different kind of future. Okay. Now let's see their challenge. Three of Cups, Eight of Wands. Okay, so it feels like they wanted you, they wanted to be happy with you, but there was something missing. There was a something missing. They were looking for that, that whatever that missing thing is the most important thing for them. That would have been signed, sealed, delivered. Mm -hmm. So it's not about the relationship. It's not about love. You wanted the partnership. You wanted the solid partnership. Mm -hmm. Justice with the Three of Cups, they could have went for divorce from you and they reconciled with the ex. If they're not with you, they could have re reconciled with the X. Mm -hmm. It was like a whole good, you know, a relationship that is good went south and made a U-turn. Oh my god, what is this? The highway? 
He said it was it went downhill for no reason. No reason. There's gonna be a juicy gauze, you know, in the extended here. Or let's see the outside factors. Outside factors. It's not part of this relationship that has affected it. Two of Pentacles. They couldn't give it to you because they were too busy. And this is, you know, the two of you have life outside this connection. Responsibilities, career, finances. So it's not that they didn't see themselves with you. They wanted coins. They wanted to have, you know, they got a lot on their plate. And they didn't choose relationship or love. They choose that plate, not the love plate. Mm. And now it makes sense. Mm. Okay. So they didn't choose you. Now let's see. I'm going to put the room card and then ask yourself how you feel. Okay. And close your eyes and let's see when you open your eyes. Here we go. Resplendent with grace. Alright. So when you open your eyes, what do you see? Ask yourself how you feel. How does it relate to your situation? What is your higher self telling you? Okay. So, now... Whatever message that you got from the oracle, put it in the comments so that you guys can share notes with other Leos. How does it make you feel, right? And then it's a healthy tribe in the Tarot Anonymous down there, okay? So I'll continue this reading. Link down there in the description box. In extended, there had, this is like a surface. This is such a surfacing. Something was not clear between the two of you. I'm not sure why, but we'll see. We do multiple scenarios in extended. It means different situations, different scenarios, if, what's, maybe's, all those things that we that we are is gonna be answered um, in the extended. I'll see you guys again. Next is extended too. Bye guys. Hi Leos, welcome to my channel. We're doing your 18 to the 19 Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Before we start, there is a webinar, the most helpful webinar ever in your life. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's something that is fun, and I'm inviting you guys. It's all about Venus. Uh -huh. We're going to be talking about how Venus affects relationship, how it helps, how it doesn't help, what, um, how it also shows different faces, meaning different, um, uh, well, yeah, you know, affecting different houses, um, you know, whichever placement you have in your chart, all this wonderful um, information will be discussed. Remedies, my personal remedies, so that it can help you with regards to Love, relationship, marriage, romantic connection, all those stuff, okay? You guys know the drill. Link down there. Here we go for my Leos. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Every time Venus leaves the Zodiac, she gives a gift. If you have given a gift to your partner, that's Venus right there. It's very interesting. Okay, because I got a gift. <laughs> I expected more from Venus though. Kidding. No, I love it, love it, love it. If you're watching, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Very much. Okay. It's true. Either you or the person has given a gift. Okay? If they do or you did, then there's love. If there's no gift, they don't love you. Kidding. <laughs> there you go. Sorry, that's how it works. Okay. Depend on the Dasha also. Okay. It's really true. Each planet gives a gift. We're going to discuss that also in the webinar, which is going to be there. Here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I remember when every time Jupiter gives a house also. Gives me a house. <laughs> Let's see. Leos. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. This is someone who is very much lean, you know. This is 
an energy who is a fitness instructor, not the bulky one. This is the more, oh, I do Pilates, you know, Nine of Pentacles. Oh, I do yoga. Okay, <laughs> this is a kind of energy. Because this is about health, wellness, person. Um, this can be you also, um, of course. Uh, single, ready, and, you know, I get to pay my bills. I'm responsible. I, I do have a nice ride. Nine of Pentacles always has a nice ride. They always have a nice car, okay? Regardless, of course, it's a nice car um, to match how much they make, uh -huh. Because we all know, we all want that bougie car, but we can't have it. But this is a person who spends wisely. Mm-hmm, nine of pentacles. That can be you. Here we go. Seven of cups, ooh, that's a gift. Shopping for a gift, okay? Mm. This is not dating. I feel like someone here, okay. I mean, not dating. This is not about option. But eh, of course, eh, we'll see. But Nine of Pentacles with the, seven, with the Seven of Cups, someone here can be looking for something to give. Okay. This is a person, Seven of Cups, who's confused, of course. Doesn't know what, what to do or which one to pick. Okay. If you're connecting with this person's energy, they have a lot of dreams also. Which can show, of course, activation of your 11th house. If it's in your 11th house right now, Leo, Mars is there. And Mars is in 11th right now. This is about, oh, this is good. Okay. Because Mars sitting in 11th, it has the drive to make things possible, to get it done. Okay. This is that one. So if you're connecting with someone who's a lot of dreams, oh, they're getting it now. Okay. And if their dream is to be with you, because remember, they have a lot. Dreams, aspiration, and gains. They have a lot. If it's, if it's you, they're going to get you. If it's them, you're going to get them. The full card energy here, someone can be far from you, needing to travel. Light, a light-hearted, light-spirit energy, eccentric, of course. Someone who just dresses whatever they want to do, you know, with their life. This is someone who also has no attachment to anything, okay? This is someone who's very single, and I feel like if whoever this person's vibration is, they're all about, like, you know, like let's just see where it goes, okay? And let's learn from there, okay? This is person's energy. Nine of Pentacles with the full card. Next to the Seven of Cups, you got your King of Swords, which is your Aquarian, okay? So something happened in your seventh house. Venus has unlocked everything there, okay? The person that you're dealing with has woken up to the situation, I feel. Because the King of Swords now is like they know what they want. Mm -hmm. Aqua Energy is your natural seventh again, okay? Underneath the full card. And like, I guess it's a page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is the gift card. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Did you get a gift card? <laughs> I'd, I'd break that. <laughs> break up with the person who gives me a gift card. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Depends how much. Okay, I'm kidding. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Someone give you a gift. Or you give someone a gift. <laughs> Sorry, I can't keep laughing. <laughs> no, I love the gift. The gift is amazing. Page of Pentacles energy here. This is someone who cherish whatever they give. Okay. Paige, this is also an apology. Okay. If they were late, someone here can be late, they said sorry. I'm late, I'm sorry, you know, this kind. I'm just also asking you out on a date. Asking you out on, hey, let's see each other. This is energy. I feel like it's cute, whoever this person's energy here. Okay, King of Swords, with the Seven of Cups. <gasps> Madre de Dios. Que horror. Right. Mira. Benga. Benga. Okay. Seven of Cups. With a Hierophant. Remember I told you Venus has unlocked something? <laughs> they woke and they want to be in a committed relationship now. Did I say more? This is you or the other person. Taurus energy. Okay. Taurus is ruled by Venus. Mars is in Venus right now. Uh, Mars is in Taurus right now. So it can be looking from your seventh. Oh, yes. Because if you're looking at it from your seventh house, and it's going to be fourth house, and natural fourth is also giving, okay? Because it's going to be from um, 11, meaning from your from aqua, it's going to be Taurus. So it's looking at it where um, selfless love is being given towards you. Yeah, I'm looking right here. It shows that Mars is in Taurus, is you know, in your dreams. Here, it's manifesting, okay? Very Venusian energy. Venus grants the Venus grants love. You need the love first. Okay, this is what it's being given towards you. Congratulations. Okay, look at me. Congratulations. <laughs> Hi, here. Congratulations. <laughs> You're granted a commitment. Solid. This is very solid. Let's see what the girl deck is saying. 
I'm gonna do this like this. I get different card if I use like that. Degrees of Love, Louboutins, Jimmy Choo, Balenciaga, whichever. You know, all those ugly sneakers that they keep making. I don't know why they keep making those. <laughs> it's an acquired taste sound. You don't know fashion. Fashion, okay? Just like fashion, okay, you have different kinds of love. Sometimes it's out of season, but it's still good. You can be the classic, okay? You can be a classic little black, uh, you know, what, little black number over there, and it's gonna be for good, okay? You can also be a trendy sneaker with regards to love. You just go trending because everybody loves love to be in a relationship right now. So this is what I'm choosing. But it depends on what kind of love do you have right now for this person. Are you the classic for forever? Or are you just trending because it's cute? Mm-hmm. That's that one. Wake up. Alrighty? So, someone can have been shopping for shoes. And, you know, shoes is also related to Venusian. Yes. Okay. So, I'm going to continue this reading. Okay? As someone gives an offer, woken up, wanting to commit, link down there in the description box for the webinar. I do expect a full attendance from the Leo. Make sure you're there. I'll see you. When you open your app, you will see there, when you scroll to the bottom, under Featured Tools, you see there, it says Cosmic Compatibility. Now, there are different add-ons, there are different packages for the app. Choose what suits for you. So, in my line of work and in the things that I do, I look at people's chart and compatibility. Here, you can choose the profile of the person or if it's you that you're trying to match you click that as your profile and then the other person and then you can choose three different methods you have astakuta dasakuta and modern methods well i prefer the modern method because i like how it gives it all the information when you check the compatibility you will see now on the screen for this two couple it says they're poor as far as compatibility but hold on, there's a lot more. If you can see it there, there are different information that it is giving you so that you can work the relationship. And then you can also look at the soulmate indicator, the hidden strengths and weaknesses, the karmic glue of the couple, who am I to you, the danger, which is the breakup, and the modern method results. Now all those will have a full explanation of how the planets are aligning. And that is your cosmic compatibility. Ain't that amazing? So what are you waiting for? Check it in the description box. There's the affiliate link. Enjoy. Reason. They just stop caring. Mm-hmm. About the relationship and the Knight of Swords. You may, I feel like, talk to them about reconciling. I feel like they will. Three of Swords, the Lovers, Knight of Wands. Um, again, I, I feel like you're so heartbroken.